Hey everybody, Jared back again. So in this video, we're gonna be showing you the first official Sand Engine mod nightly for your HTC One. Now, there were some previous unofficial builds by various other XDA members. Um, however, there was a laundry list of things that weren't working, such as, and most importantly, the camera, your LTE, and a bunch of other things. So obviously, with an official Sand Engine mod release, of, at least of their nightlies, um, you know, you can expect a lot of those uh, situations or problems to have been fixed. So apparently calling does work. The camera it does work but there's a bit of a discrepancy with that if we go ahead and jump into the settings whoops the settings of the camera um, you'll notice that we can actually only go as far up to two megapixels at the moment so um, just keep that in mind and I have noticed a couple of force closes uh, when switching from the rear facing camera to the front facing camera uh, it gave me like a gallery force closed issue <clears throat> excuse me I'm still sick um, with that said, uh, also some people are reporting that the in-call audio and microphone isn't working at all, and they say in order to fix that, just go ahead and jump into settings, scroll on down to your sound, and just make sure that you have um, the touch sounds and uh, your dial pad uh, touch sounds um, enabled. I don't know. I haven't tried that out myself. I've currently got my SIM card in my Galaxy S4 because I'm kind of in the review process of that, and I can't really be uh, playing around with ROMs too much on a different device. Uh, so with that said, also so one other thing you'll notice if we go ahead and jump into um, an application such as the dialer app, uh, generally speaking, you should be able to jump into the menu of the dialer app. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we don't have that. So um, what you want to do if there's um, if you come across any applications that you need to get into the menus for, uh, you're going to want to jump into here, go into system, uh, hardware keys and uh, show action overflow so that when we go jump, go ahead and jump back into our um dialer you can see that we've actually got the uh the menu button right there although you know it's 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 not bringing up anything um so anyways uh that's just a little tip for you guys <clears throat> so other than that i mean it's fast you know as you would expect i mean it is android 4.2.2 .2 .2. um you know but i i don't know if i would specifically call it a um daily driver at this point in time uh however it certainly is fun to play with and it's always fun to see uh you know these new exciting and uh, more popular roms most popular roms i should say the most downloaded um on these new devices like that so with that said also i uh went ahead and took the liberty of downloading uh two benchmark applications now i'm not expecting to see anything crazy at this point in time because you know the score that we're going to get on this uh, is definitely not going to be anything what we're going to see with the finishing product especially when we start getting to the release candidates and so on so i'm going to go ahead and kind of put this down for now and um, you guys can go ahead and watch and i'll just speed up the footage and we'll come back once it's finished Alrighty, so we're back. The benchmark is complete, and we'll go ahead and take a look. Obviously, we still need some uh, screen optimization. So just off screen here, we're looking at 6142, 6142 is our score on Quadrant. Uh, so we'll go ahead and, whoops, we're going to go ahead and jump into Antutu here, and uh, we'll get this one going as well. Now, with that said, you know, again, don't let any of these scores dictate, you know, how it's going to perform, um, you know, based on just these scores, you know, obviously like, you know, the, the ROM's not finished yet. So uh, anyways, we'll go ahead and start that up and we'll be right back. Alrighty, and we're back, and we've got a score of 23,448, so 23,448, and we're going to compare that to the next one on the list, which is, moving down from there, the Galaxy S4 i9500 octa-core version, uh, coming in at 30,675, so um, not too bad at all for a nightly, uh, the first nightly that still is a ways to go. 
Uh, anyways, guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be posting a link in the description below so that you guys can go and download it for your own, uh, excuse me, HTC One, uh, if you want to on your own. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click that likes button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Twitter and Google Plus to stay up to date on all my videos. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.